everyone. Welcome to Noonday Prayer. Hi, Shelly. All right. So, and hi, Judy. Oh, thank you, Judy. Uh, so, we are here for our regular Noonday Prayer, uh, which starts on page 103 of your Book of Common Prayer. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm for today is Psalm 104, which can be found on page 735 of your Book of Common Prayer. Let us pray the psalm together. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, how excellent is your greatness! You are clothed with majesty and splendor. You wrap yourself with light as with a cloak, and spread out the heavens like a curtain. You lay the beams of your chambers in the waters above. You make the clouds your chariot. You ride on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers, and flames of fire your servants. You have set the earth upon its foundations, so that it shall never be moved at any time. You cover it with the deep as with a mantle. The waters stood higher than the mountains. At your rebuke they fled. At the voice of your thunder they hastened away. They went up into the hills and down to the valleys beneath, to the places you had appointed for them. You set the limits that they should not pass, that they shall not again cover the earth. You send the springs into the valleys. They flow between the mountains. All the beasts of the field drink their fill from them, and the wild asses quench their thirst. Beside them the birds of the air make their nests, and sing among the branches. You water the mountains from your dwelling on high. The earth is fully satisfied by the fruit of your works. You make grass grow for flocks and herds, and plants to serve mankind, that they may bring forth food from the earth, and wine to gladden our hearts oil to make a cheerful countenance, and bread to strengthen the heart. The trees of the Lord are full of sap, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted, in which the birds build their nest, in whose tops the stork makes his dwelling. The high hills are a refuge for the mountain goats, and the stony cliffs for the rock badgers. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time of its setting. You make darkness that it may be night." in which all the beasts of the forest prowl. The lions roar after their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they slip away, and they lay themselves down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the great and wide sea, with its living things too many to number, creatures both small and great. There move the ships, and there is that leviathan, which you have made for the sport of it. All of them look to you, to give them their food in due season. You give it to them, they gather it, you open your hand, and they are filled with good things. You hide your face, and they are terrified. You take away their breath, and they die and return to their dust. You send forth your spirit, and they are created, and so you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in all his works. He looks at the earth and it trembles. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will praise my God while I have my being. May these words of mine please him. I will rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed out of the earth, and the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. That was a very long song, uh, psalm, but I actually, I like that one. It's one of my favorite ones, um, because it is playful, um, and, and also just in awe of the majesty of God. So... Today, we are going to do a reading from Philippians, Philippians chapter 1, verses 3 through 11. Um, and I 
turn to this reading um, knowing that many of you have now heard uh, I have accepted a call to be the rector at Christ and Grace Episcopal Church in Petersburg, Virginia. Uh, my last Sunday here is going to be September 29th and I will start there October 15th. Um, and so I wanted to just rejoice with you in all of the ways that God has done ministry um, through us while we've been together um, and the ways that God will continue ministry uh, through each of us as we go our separate ways, as I go to something new, as I go and meet and rejoice in my new congregation, um, even as I have loved and rejoiced in each of you. Um, and so I find it I don't know. I, I've always really loved Philippians. Uh, it is one of the letters of Paul that is is my favorite. I have often looked past the way I have not liked Paul uh, to say I love Philippians. Um, and I love Philippians because it is full of mutual joy. It is full of rejoicing in the work and ministry that goes on together, uh, that goes on as we build these communities. Um, and I don't want you to hear it as, um, as paternal as Paul might seem, um, because I really do see the ministry that I've done here as Old Donation with you at Old Donation as something that is a mutual ministry. Um, I come as your associate to help lead and guide uh, and also to learn from you. Um, and that is true wherever I go, as I go to be the rector at Christ in Grace, I will be going to lead and guide. I will also be going with an open heart, uh, ready to learn what ministry is already in their hearts. Um, and I think that is beautiful. Um, so let's read this passage from Philippians 1, uh, verses 3 through 11. I thank my God every time I mention you in my prayers. I'm thankful for all of you every time I pray, and it is always a prayer full of joy. I'm glad because of the way you have been my partners in the ministry of the gospel from the time you first believed it until now. I'm sure about this. The one who started a good work in you will stay with you to complete the job by the day of Christ Jesus. I have good reason to think this way about all of you, because I keep you in my heart. You all are all my partners in God's grace, both during my time in prison and in the defense and support of the gospel. God is my witness that I feel affection for all of you with the compassion of Christ Jesus. This is my prayer, that your love might become even more and more rich with knowledge and all kinds of insight. I pray this so that you will be able to decide what really matters, and so you will be sincere and blameless on the day of Christ. I pray that you will then be filled with the fruit of righteousness, which comes from Jesus Christ, in order to give glory and praise to God. So... I just, I love the joy that pours off of the pages of Philippians, um, the joy that Paul really has uh, in this church in Philippi, um, because it has been a truth that I have so enjoyed uh, my time at Old Donation. Um, it is a beautiful thing uh, to get to know a congregation. And actually, at two years, I have just gotten to the point where uh, most priests will tell you two years is when you've really kind of gotten to know people and figured out all the connections and you really know a church. And that's when you're able to, to do the most. 
um, because you've spent that time in relationship. Um, and so I am sad to be leaving you. Um, and I would not go if this was not such a true calling. Um, from the first time I started looking at Christ and Grace, I felt that pull. Um, and I, I rejoice that that was the case, uh, even as I say I will miss you all so much. Um, but I know that wherever I go, God stays with you. Um, God was with you before I got here. God will be with you after I leave. Um, and God is doing wonderful things here. Uh, and God will also go with me because this isn't a sports team. <laughs> we are not competing, um, but we are sharing in mutual ministry. And so as I go and be with the people of Christ and grace, God is with us too. Um, and that that makes me happy. Um, it makes me happy that, that we can have both and. Um, so I look forward to the time that we have left. I look forward to giving lots and lots of hugs. Um, I look forward to passing everything off well uh, so that you are in a wonderful position as I go. Um, and I look forward to seeing what's going to happen next at Old Donation um, because there are great things going on here. Uh, and I know that there is just going to be more, more in store for you. Um, and that makes me excited. So let us now continue on with our prayers um, and continue on in thankfulness. Uh, thankfulness for all God has done, all God will do, and all that we have gotten to share together. So, we come back to page 106, and I have to continue on or else I'm going to start crying. Um, we're coming back to page 106 to continue our prayers. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have given your only Son to be for us a sacrifice for sin, and also an example of godly life. Give us grace to receive thankfully the fruits of his redeeming work, and to follow daily in the blessed steps of his most holy life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray now for those on our parish prayer list and those in our hearts. And I offer a prayer of thanks uh, for all that you have poured into my life and into the life of my family while we've been here. So today we do remember Elizabeth Felsetti. We ask for the repose of her soul and for comfort for her family. We pray also for Linda Coker, for Dot Fremd, Philip Todd, Jim Pernini, Tom Crockett, Seal McCoy, Harriet Woodhouse, Kathy Garrett, Ann Annis, Dick Kressig, Charlie Swift, Barbara Caffrey, Holly Payne, Dave Jacques, Tony Succi, Peter Hogg, Frank Schweiger, John Causey and Kathy Reese, Bobby Gribble, Maggie Clickman, Henry Vixelio, Connie Cosgrove, Steve Russell, Denise DeConti, Rick Williamson, Linda Lasta, Jan Hudson, Alexandra Carter, Jennifer Lee, Bill Gentry, Ben Gentry, Edith Watakar, Chris Jones, Rose Paludin, Claudia Rawling, Rob Matthias, 
Denny Coors, Larry Dulligan, Kelly Barnett, Bill Oakley, Alex Saz, Elda Garcia, Dan Harmon, Joe O'Connor. We pray for God's vision of beloved community to become our vision for this world, for peace in our nation and in the world, particularly in Ukraine, Syria, Sudan, Gaza, and Israel, and for those who are deployed everywhere. And we give thanks. We give thanks for those celebrating birthdays and anniversaries. Today, especially, we give thanks for Nancy Reese and Haven Smith Hyman, who are celebrating birthdays. Tomorrow, we'll celebrate birthdays with Marty Jones and Ned Paludin. Then for anniversaries, today we have uh, Catherine and Brian McCullough's anniversary. And tomorrow on the 20th, we'll celebrate an anniversary with Cheryl and George Hummer. Uh, so as you see those people, please wish them a happy birthday, a happy anniversary, and celebrate with them another year. All right. So... Um, this week we have a, another transition meeting uh, that will happen on Wednesday from 6 to 8. Uh, there will be food um, and Canon, the Reverend Canon Mary Thorpe will come and lead that discussion. Uh, she will lead uh, the same discussion on Sunday following the 10 a.m. service. Um, so come to one of those, uh, either the one on Wednesday from 6 to 8 or the one following the 10 a.m. service. Um, those are important discussions as you get ready to search for a new rector um, because it is looking at all Old Donation has done, uh, all that y'all hope to do, um, and it is crafting the language that you'll use to um, say this is who we are. Um, and so it's very important that we have as many of you participate as possible, uh, no matter how long or short you've been here. Um, all right. So um, I hope you all have a wonderful week. Uh, we have our regular 10 a.m. Eucharist on Thursday with Bible study to follow. Um, and I will see you all soon. Um, all right. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.